Meghan Markle is demanding but never rude, Dad says amid reports of Kate Middleton feud. Thomas Markle hasn't had any contact with his daughter in months, but he said in a new interview that he was surprised by the recent reports of a feud between Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton. Speaking about the way Meghan has been portrayed in the reports, Thomas, 74, told the Mail on Sunday, I don't recognize this person. The Meghan I know was always sweet, kind, generous, he added. She was always demanding but never rude. The interview was published shortly after Kensington Palace issued a rare denial amid feud rumors in early December, responding to a report that Kate, 36, had gotten angry with Meghan, 37 over how she treated Kate's staff ahead of her wedding to Prince Harry in May. Thomas went on to share that he taught Meghan to always have respect for those who worked behind the scenes. Meghan grew up on set, said Markle, a former lighting director on TV shows such as Married Dot with Children and General Hospital. I taught her to have respect for the crew. They can make you look good or awful, he told the Mail on Sunday. He admitted that because of their lengthy separation, I don't pretend to know what she's like now. Thomas has indicated that he has not spoken to his daughter since she married Harry on May 19. After publicly wavering on the decision, Thomas did not attend Meghan's wedding in May, citing heart problems. In his absence, Prince Charles stepped in and walked Meghan down the aisle after she sadly confirmed days before the nuptials that Thomas would not be attending the wedding as originally planned. Thomas has since made controversial statements about his daughter such as declaring that Meghan seemed terrified of her new duties in July and comparing the royal family to a cult in August. Also that month, Thomas admitted that he lied to Harry about staged paparazzi photos as the couple was preparing for their special day. Although the palace chose to respond to the report about Kate and Meghan's alleged feud over Meghan's treatment of staffers, they said that they will not be drawn into additional reports including one that said Kate was left in tears after a fitting for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress ahead of Meghan's wedding. People previously confirmed that the incident did take place. Several insiders have told people that there was a notable amount of stress surrounding those involved in the wedding. Still, a royal wedding guest previously told people that Prince William was in a jokey, wonderful mood at Meghan and Harry's private evening reception, and that Kate was in great form. During the interview, Thomas also revealed that he had even hand-delivered a letter to Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, who has remained close with Meghan, asking if she knew why our daughter won't speak to me. I have made dozens of attempts to reach my daughter via text and letters, but she and Harry have put up a wall of silence, he told the Mail on Sunday. Amid reports of tension, people confirmed earlier this week that Kate and her husband Prince William will be joining the rest of the royal family, including Harry and Meghan in Norfolk for Christmas with Queen Elizabeth at Sandringham. Will and Kate will stay at their nearby home of Anmer Hall with children Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and 7-month-old Prince Louis. The specifics on where Harry and Meghan are staying haven't been provided at this stage. Meghan may also be joined by her mom, who has reportedly been invited to join them for Christmas by the Queen. Contrary to reports of tension between brothers William and Harry and their wives, a source recently told People that the couples enjoyed a memorable first Christmas together last year, when Meghan made her debut walk to church with the royal family on Christmas Day. They really loved Christmas and all had a wonderful time, the source said. I think the two women got on, they are definitely not best friends, but it was a really special time for them all to spend together. Meghan Markle's father has revealed he is still facing a wall of silence from his daughter and her husband as he spoke of his love for her and his hopes that they will reunite. Thomas Markle, 74, said he has been frozen out and has still not heard from pregnant Meghan, 37 after a rift developed between them when he did not attend the royal wedding and staged a series of paparazzi photos and tell-all interviews. He said he has made dozens of attempts to reach his daughter via texts and letters and even sent a handwritten note to her via his ex-wife and Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, his first in months, he said he was reaching out to them once again to try to correct the lies and get the truth out there. He apparently showed the newspaper a series of handwritten notes from Meghan that were sent before they became estranged in a bid to prove that their relationship was once very close. 
he apparently showed the newspaper a series of handwritten notes from Meghan that were sent before they became estranged in a bid to prove that their relationship was once very close. He said, she wrote me hundreds of little cards and notes through the years. Sometimes they were for special occasions, other times just little notes she would leave round the house. I've still got a post-it note on my fridge which says, I love you daddy. Another is said to have read, all I want to do is make you proud. And I promise, no matter what, I'll do it. Mr. Markle said Meghan also sent him $2,000 to put towards a holiday on Christmas after she became successful on the hit U.S. legal drama Suits. He also produced a string of medical bills and showed them to the newspaper in a bid to prove his heart problems that prevented him from attending the royal wedding were not faked. Mr. Markle said his life has been turned upside down since Meghan, now the Duchess of Sussex met Prince Harry. The couple are expecting their first child in spring next year. When they announced her pregnancy I had seven paparazzi on my doorstep night and day for seven days. They rented the house next door, Mr. Markle said. He said he has faced harsh trolls on the internet and that harsh lies had been spread about him. I don't read things but then people send them to me anyway. They say I faked my heart attacks that I wasn't at the first wedding. It's all bull. Meghan and I never had any problems before this. If she would just speak to me, things could be different. I love Meghan very much. I want her and Harry to have a beautiful, healthy baby and a great life. But I want them to stop believing the lies. Asked if he believes he will ever be reunited with Meghan, he said, maybe. Someday. Thomas Markle has revealed he is dreading his first Christmas without a card from Meghan, as he fumed. I have been frozen out. In an interview with the Mail on Sunday, the ex-Hollywood lighting director, 74, told how his daughter once wrote him touching letters every December, including one that said, I love you with all my heart, now and forever. One of the affectionate letters, addressed to Daddy, vows all I want to do is make you proud. And I promise, no matter what, I'll do it. Another thanks Thomas for taking the best care of me adding I love you. But he is not expecting a card this year because the royal family froze him out after he staged paparazzi shots before Meghan's wedding to Prince Harry. He said, I have been frozen out and I can't stay silent. I have made dozens of attempts to reach my daughter via text and letters, but she and Harry have put up a wall of silence. Dash advertisement dash. They have done what they once told me not to do. They are believing everything negative that has been written about me. So I am reaching out to them, once again, to try to correct the lies and get the truth out there. Everyone says, why don't I just shut the FK up? That Meghan can't speak to me because I'll give away secrets. But that's bull's tea. I've been accused of every terrible thing you can think of. In one magazine they had an awful story about Prince Charles right beside one about me. But no one is shunning Prince Charles. He also brushed off rumors that he faked a heart attack in order to have an excuse not to attend his daughter's wedding to Prince Harry after staged paparazzi pictures emerged. The first one was on the weekend before the wedding and was in a Mexico hospital for a day and a half. He then drove to Los Angeles to deliver flowers to his ex-wife Doria before falling ill again when he returned to his home in Rosarito. Mr. Markle said, The doctors told me I was having a second heart attack. I had a blocked artery which they call the widow maker. 